Hey guys, I'm Jeff, and you're watching Jeff's Custom RC. Coming to you today with an all new unboxing from Hobby King. Stick around and I'll show you what we got. Alright, guys, so let's show you here what we're looking at today. This is the Durafly Goblin from Hobby King. This is the plug and play edition. We're also, guys, they sent us the Graphene Turnigy um, 4S pack for this plane, and it is a uh, 1300 milliamp. Um, as you can see here, this plane is a uh, recommended pack is a 1800 milliamp 4S pack. We are looking at a wingspan of 820 millimeters, which is going to give us roughly probably around 33 and a half inches. Uh, an overall length of uh, 615 millimeters, which is roughly 24 and a half inches from nose to tail. Um, we've got a prop, which is a 7.6 two blade prop. Uh, 45 amp ESC, three 9 gram servos, a 35 36 kV 1400 motor, guys. And uh, basically, they're saying that this plane is a uh, 100 mile per hour plus plane, quick assembly, around 20 minutes. Um, and uh, comes in two schemes, guys. You've got the uh, pink, gray, and black, and then you have the yellow, gray, and black. And I'm really digging the whole scheme here, guys. It's really nice looking. So let's get this box open and see what's inside. We can see here pretty neatly packaged. Uh, everything looks good. All right, this is our wing. Um, wow, guys, the finish on this looks really, really nice. All right, so we have our... Elrons here the, the finishing paint job on this is really super nice very impressive all link clevises which the manual that comes with this I've kind of briefly looked over says to remove the ball links and put on the supplied clevises which are the white types with the fuel tubing that we're all used to um, so I'm gonna follow the manual and do as it says uh, here we have our connectors for our ailerons we have nine gram servos here let's look at the back side uh, here are your nine gram servos there will be three of these in this particular plane here we have the uh, actually the vertical stabilizer this is a non-working rudder yeah uh, I mean just really nice these are going to be our glue points on this particular part and to go into the horizontal stabilizer or the elevator I'm pretty sure so we'll get that out and show you that all right so here we have our elevator um, as you'll see the ball links on here which I will change out per the manual um, these are foam hinges which you know as as expected we will work back and forth to soften that up a little bit but I mean I'm telling you the the finish on this plane is just incredible um, looks super nice hope you guys can see this um, and how good it looks here uh, again as I was telling you earlier I'll show you um, you will have your glue points for this to go together here and uh, that's that will go into the tail section of the fuselage where it will also glue here and then turning it over we'll have our glue points here and here which I will more than likely use foam tack for those um, so let's see what we got next. All right, so next we have our supplies setup guide with our throws for our high and low rates for ele elevator and ailerons. Our CG is going to be 45 to 50 millimeters from the leading edge of the wing. And uh, this is what I was telling you guys about where it says that the plane comes with ball link connectors. Um, but we recommend you replace them with the included clevises, uh, which are these guys, which will be put on. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do as the manual says because it is a notice, and obviously this is something they want you to do. So we will get that done as well and uh, see what happens. Also, they send you with a nice... Uh, set of numbers here guys so you can number your plane uh, like a racer kind of like what we're seeing on the the box here if you look at this picture here 
they're showing the number on the back which would be somewhere along in here on the vertical stabilizer so yeah we'll, we'll come up with a number to put there but yeah really super super nice uh, number set there guys also we have a nice hard skid plate this will be for the belly of the plane for your belly landings um but just uh yeah very 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 nice um let's go and look at now lastly but not least let's get into this i'm telling you the finish on this plane is amazing um let's look at the front here look down the front i mean this is this is just a beautiful beautifully done airplane guys um I will be coming inside probably under the strap and putting a zip tie to hold this in differently and running this differently for the battery strap. Um, that will just be my little thing that I do. Um, I would highly recommend it. Uh, like I said, a zip tie around here will keep this in place for you guys. Um, let's open the canopy and see what we have here for you. Um, I'm telling you, I, the camera does this no justice as to how the fit and finish on this plane is. Um, and looking down in here, guys, we have a, another 9 gram servo down in here, which is a one servo to work both sides of the elevator. This is an adjustment on the servo arm here uh, that you can adjust for your throws as well as adjusting the clevis on the elevator itself. Um, again, you have your battery strap. There is some uh, foam down in here, guys. Let me see if I can get you some better light. Yeah, there is some foam down in here to help hold your battery and already, that's already in place, so that's really nice. Uh, we have our EC3 connector. Um, and then we have our elevator and our aileron connections. So I'm just going to mock this plane up for you quickly, guys, and uh, we'll show you what it looks like. All right, just wanted to show you really quickly here how nicely these Turnigy graphene batteries are packaged, guys. Um, and opening these up, it's, it's like, wow. <laughs> um, I mean, look at this. Just super, super nice packaging here. Um, we go in here and open up this battery pack and uh yeah just very very nice um and like i said guys this is the 1300 milliamp it's a 4s pack um and it's the graphemes well all right guys this pretty much wraps up this unboxing and a very quick build um i have not glued the plane together yet but it's pretty much mocked up put together it's just a little glue i've got to get in there this plane's fit and finish is amazing very impressive can't wait to get it outside and maiden it the finish on it is amazing i'm very impressed with it if it flies as nicely as it looks and it's built it should be a, a great flying plane guys so um Stick around for the maiden to come if the weather will cooperate with us and uh, we'll get this thing up in there for you. This is the Goblin from Durafly and Hobby King. Check it out guys. I think you'll dig it. Okay, so the manual says 45 to 50 millimeters from the leading edge. We are at our leading edge. We are 45 millimeters back, if you can see that, and it is balanced now. It is balanced with the battery as far forward as it can go, and I cut out a couple little pieces of foam inside to make it go to the firewall, which were about uh, maybe three-eighths of an inch thick on each side, so it went further forward. And I also have 84 grams of lead weight in this cowl right here, guys, to get this CG. Um, this plane is very tail heavy. <clears throat> believe it or not, with a motor like this, you wouldn't believe it, but it is. And so 
it is balancing perfectly at a 45 millimeter CG from the leading edge and basically um, 84 grams of weight um, basically dispersed in the cowling around here uh, the lead weights um, that are stuck inside and restuck show you that also all the clevises you can see here I took off the ball links and put on the clevises that they sent with this as well per the instruction sheet right here product notification um, as I say this plane did come with the ball links as you see here and according to the manual it said to replace them with the clevises and the tubing which I have done so uh, that's it and I will show you one other modification I've done so this modification is the receiver placement um, I came in here and put a balsa tray across here from side to side and put the receiver on top of that because yes that is a gyro receiver um, which I will turn on once I get in flight and check everything out just for some extra stabilization um, I think you can see the tray down in there um, I also drilled a hole through the tray in the event I needed to take the receiver out and uh, adjust the rods going to the elevator. So just a note you might wanna look at there if you put a receiver on a balsa tray like this, make sure you drill a hole to where you can get to the servo arm so that you can adjust the linkage if need be other than just in your clevises. Um, also too, I'll show you, this is the battery now. It is all the way forward. Um, let me see if I can pull it out. If you can see up in here, hard to tell, but you can see, let's see if I can get something to point with. There was foam across here, a couple of small pieces back in here, and then you have your firewall. And uh, what I did was I went in there and I cut those couple of small pieces of foam out. I'd say maybe another, I don't know, uh, quarter to three eighths of an inch up to the plastic. So that was another thing I did just to get that battery to go as far forward as possible. Awesome feeling foam, very nice hard foam. Uh, it doesn't seem to dent and ding with just touching it like a lot of our foam stuff does. Um, canopy snaps in really nicely. Um, so yeah, guys, um, super happy with it so far and, uh, hopefully we'll get her up and flying for you soon and, uh, see how it does for the maiden.